Good morning, good Wednesday morning, Pastor Ken Harvest Church. Thanks for watching uh, Wednesday night, first Wednesday of the month. Actually, we have a big celebration time, right? So we'll be celebrating communion tonight. Have a great celebration service. So come out seven o'clock in person tonight. Join us online as well. This week, we're answering the question, why doesn't God do something? And I've shared with you already, he sent Noah to save us he, from the flood. He sent the Ten Commandments through Moses. And most of all, yesterday he sent Jesus Christ so we could forget, be forgiven and come back into relationship with him. The one I have for today is he sent the Holy Spirit. Acts 1.8 says, you will receive power. You will receive the ability and the capacity to live differently. Because see what happens, this world comes on strong, doesn't it? A lot of pressure. You know, we can get caught up in, in, in a lifestyle that's contrary to God. We can get caught up in addictions and, and fears and depression can dominate us. But through Jesus Christ, the power of the Holy Spirit, God has done something. We just need to receive and grab a hold of what he's done for us. Come on. That's a message. I'll be on that some Sunday. Come join me, right? Receive the Holy Spirit in your life. The Holy Spirit is the power of God. It is the, the gasoline in your engine, if you will. That's where we move to more from just faith and believing. We move into action as we receive the Holy Spirit and then begin to apply the principles of God's Word in our life with the help of the Holy Spirit. He's our guide, our comforter, and our helper. I want to pray with you this morning. If you don't know Jesus, you'd accept Jesus. If you aren't living for Jesus, you'd return to the Lord and then you would receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, I pray. Pause with me and pray this morning. Lord, we pray, come into my heart. Lord, I want to receive the Holy Spirit today, a fresh touch of your grace in my heart, my home, this morning. Amen and amen. Have an awesome day.